see him. The other thing they have to look at here is did anybody leave the bench uh, for either team here? Right. Yeah, that would be horrible. So I'll continue to look here at this weather to call technical fouls. And this goes back to Randall getting tangled up after yeah. that screen with Zeller, and then there was a foul a possession or two later where when Randall got up, he made a little contact to the chest of Zeller. And there you see the end result. Now we'll find out what sort of penalties are involved and if there was anything on Hartstein or on Martin. Well, anytime there's a big group underneath the rim like that, and then a player on the outside comes in and pushes, and then you've got a chain reaction as the initial guy under on the baseline goes down. Now, Julius Randle's out at midcourt. He's having a conversation with Brian Forte, Karan Butler, former player, now assistant coach for the Heat. He's out there talking to Randle, who is talking to Forte. Review, it has been determined that after the successful field goal by Quigley, we have a dead ball technical foul by Zeller, followed by a dead ball technical foul by Hartenstein. They offset one another, and we have finally we have a technical foul on Martin for his unsportsmanlike behavior. We have New York will shoot one free throw, Miami's ball on the baseline, as after any other score. Okay, so in total, you have three technicals. You end up with one New York free throw, basically because of Martin's unsportsmanlike act here at the end. Yeah. Shelving Hartenstein. Yeah. And Eric Spolster wasn't happy. That's why you see him there getting in there to pull Cody Martin away with things getting hot. Maybe this is what the Knicks needed. It's been listless throughout this game. They've been waiting for a spark. Maybe this will get the Knicks going a little bit here. It's hard to believe we still have another quarter to go. Okay. Think about it. Yeah, there's 14 seconds to go here. We still have another whole entire quarter. Randall shooting the technical, looking for his 10th point. And it's no good. He's one for three at the line. It'll be Miami ball with 14.7 on the clock here at the end of the third. Look, Randall has uh, had a difficult day. He's four for 13, like you said. All right, he's got uh, at least four turnovers. But the big thing is he kept working. He already has 11 rebounds in the game in the first three quarters. Six seconds left. Butler going away from the screen with three seconds to go. Rises up. Misses the three. And that's the end of the third. Miami led by as many as 21. 17-point lead and an NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. Continue after these messages and a word from our ABC stations.